This is the faucet on an old garden tub, a 25 year old Mullen faucet. These flanges were getting so corroded that itself was actually turning on and off okay. When I went to take this one apart, the flange was so crusted on it pulled this piece loose. Um, it probably is supposed to stay attached to the plastic down inside there. I ended up cutting this um, flange off with a Dremel. I'm going to go ahead and try to get the core out and just replace the whole thing since uh, it's 25 years old and I'm here. Actually, that looks like it's going to come off pretty easy. Yeah, I got it cleaned out in there. It was probably an old Phillips head, but it is so corroded I can't get anything to grab onto it. I'm going to start on that side and see if I can get it out properly. Yeah, there is a Phillips head down in there and it is really corroded. I already stripped the one on this side. I'm either going to have to get it out with an easy out or drill it out. But same thing over here, that one's really crusted up. Yeah, so that's all one piece. That's what I thought. Here it is on the other side where it broke apart right there. Still one more retaining nut down inside of there before this will come up and out. So I, I tried making my own extraction tool. This is a piece of an old broom handle that I cut apart. And I could get it to fit and hit the groove down there, but it was too... Um, too thin and it was sliding off the edge. So I tried with a piece of CPVC. Same thing, I can get it to seat. Um, the plastic kept kind of sliding into the groove on that one too and it was really tight. So I paid the $4.95 or whatever for the actual company made extraction tool and it fits on there pretty tight. I put the nut back on so I've got something to leverage against the Alright, well, I broke that. Crusted screw out of here with an easy out. But I can't put much downward pressure on it or I'll shove the cartridge back down in the channel. So this is Alright, so we got the screw out. That'll at least separate those two pieces. That piece comes out easy now. So yeah, that's what's left of that. Alright, so this just went from bad to worse. I um, put a bigger screw into this. This is actually the stem or part of the actual cartridge itself. And I put that in here, had a block of wood here, used this to pry it up and out, and the stem broke out of the middle. So I've still got the cartridge and the remnants of the retaining nut. It's stuck and stripped. Um, I'm going to actually try to melt a pathway through it using this soldering gun. Alright, so I was able to burn through, burn through the nut with the uh, um, soldering iron. All right, so that's most of the cartridge. I hope I got all of it. Yep, there's still more of the cartridge down there. And in case anybody's wondering, that thing is threaded all the way down. So yeah, there was no way I was gonna pull that out of there without getting that nut out of there. And there was no way to really get the nut out of there without breaking the cartridge because the nut was wedged between the cartridge and the wall of the cylinders. All right, there's more of the cartridge. 
All right, so that's the last little piece of the cartridge. You broke off a couple more pieces off the sides. All right, so this is the inside of the, the pipe. It is threaded all the way down to where the um, cartridge sits. Actually, I can compare them. That's the old one, the remnants of the old one. The bottom part's broken off. And is that the other way? No. no, no. Yeah, it's just tight, and then this thing should take it all the way down. That should be it. I use this to push it down with. This hits right around the outside of the cartridge. I saw another guy that broke his by pushing pressure down on the middle of it. The new retaining nuts are starting off feeling like they're going to go okay, but then about three or four turns in, they're they're um, getting cross-threaded and I don't know why that's happening. I don't know if the size is off, I don't know if the threads are off and I, I tried it really carefully with both new nuts and with this new piece they're all cross-threading. So I thought maybe I messed up the threads but the old piece goes in well still. So maybe they're just milled a little wrong, I don't know. They look like they're exact replacements. Anyway the old piece will go down fine. I'm gonna actually cut off the end of the old piece and shape it like one of the retaining nuts and use the end of the old piece for a retaining nut so I can turn the water back on. Got a pretty good fit on their special tool. The trick is getting it to seat, but I think this one will. See? Yeah, that one's going on pretty good. So I turned the water back on. I think this is going to work okay. Let's see. Yeah, we got water coming from the hot tide. Okay. And no sign of anything leaking. 